All right, what is up guys? My name is Brian and I work for an artist named F. Kloofy. So this is part two of the ultimate um, lo-fi tutorial series for beginners. So if you haven't checked part one out, make sure to go check out last week's video because this week we're pretty much just gonna be building on top of what we worked on last week. I'm gonna try to keep this intro short because there's a lot to cover I feel like for this video, but pretty much um, quick announcements. I have a new song coming out. Um, I actually submitted it on DistroKid today. So you should be seeing it on Spotify and other streaming platforms pretty soon within a couple of days. So keep an eye out for that. Like always, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I would really appreciate it if you do so. I said this in the last week's video as well, but it really does keep me motivated to keep making content like this and just, you know, share what I know to you guys as well. So I would really appreciate that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's get into it. All right, so let's build the base again that we talked about in the last week's video. So gonna use the same chords. Something like that, right? <sighs> this part is actually really easy uh, because what we worked on last week is pretty much giving you all the answers for what you need to do next. So once you have a base built like me right here, nine times out of 10, these top notes, you can use them as your main melody. So let me show you guys. So I have the music box pulled up, right? And if I just copy these top notes, so I'm gonna erase this. Dun, 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 dun. You see what I mean? Like, and by top notes, I don't mean literally only this, 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 right? I mean the top line. So I don't know if you can follow my mouse, but I'm trying to point to like what the um, notes or the what the top line is playing. So let me do this one more time. This. And then you copy that over here. So now it's. So what I did in this part is I pretty much have the same rhythm, right? Remember I talked about in the rhythm in the last video about how rhythm is important to keep the uh, listeners familiar with what you're going for, what sound you're going for. So the rhythm is the same, but I changed the notes around because, so this is kind of hard to explain, but in my thoughts, melodies have movement. So. A melody's gonna go up, it's gonna go down. So the overall trend for the first part of this melody is to go down. Let's take a listen to it one more time. You see how the overall like pattern is trying to move down. You can actually see it with the notes itself. Like it starts up all the way over here and then it goes down all the way to. So what I mean by movement is if it's going down, you want to bring it back up. So what I did was keep the same rhythm, but I tried to move the notes up. Um, and 
As for what notes to use, I think I mentioned this also, but try to keep the notes or the same notes as what you used in the chords. So I think all of these notes are literally from the same chords that we started with. So F sharp. Yeah, G sharp, A. Like they're pretty much all within the chords. So mess around, try to find something that does sound good, but the guidelines are to use the same notes in the chords and keep the movement in the back of your head, right? So we talked about how this is going down. So let's see how this goes up. You see how it's bum, 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 bum. Like it's trying to move up instead of the just going straight down. Obviously, I don't want you guys to be like, like don't take it literally like that, right? I feel like it does give you a guideline as to what you should be looking for. So, so let's take this step by step, right? So you copy the first, you copy the top notes, you paste it on here, and then you have this. So then you copy it over to the next half. And then now you should be thinking about how do I make this move? So my thought process is the first part, okay, it's moving down. So I need to make this part move up. How do I make this move up? Okay, well, I have these notes and these chords, and so maybe I can shift it around with, uh, using the notes from the chords, and then you start figuring out, okay, does this sound good? Eh, I don't know. So let's say like... That's okay, but what about here? No, I want it to move up, right? So... Okay, it needs to move up, so let's say I do like this. Uh, I don't know about that one. I think I like the first one better, right? So. Like, it's about trial and error, trying the notes out, and then making the decision to keep those and move on or work on it more until you find what you like. So that's pretty much the melody part, and then you want a counter melody. So a counter melody is something that kind of sounds like the melody, okay, non-professional terms. A counter melody, in my thoughts, is something that sounds like a melody, but it isn't really the melody. <laughs> um, for lack of better words, that's how I'm going to describe it. But we have the melody, which is So we're going to use a different sound. Um, I'm going to use this. And what I'm going to do is, again, copy the melody that you just created, put it into the new sound. But you don't want it to be exactly the same as the melody, right? So now, You see what I'm doing? So I guess how I would describe what I'm doing is adding little touches so that it doesn't sound like this completely. And then what I would do is probably delete the extra stuff. So. I figured out that dun, 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 that's what I like. So, so all of this, I don't need that because all I need is that's pretty much all I need. All right. So now with everything together, it sounds like this. So now it sounds a little cluttered, right? Because obviously the counter melody is very similar to the melody. So this is where effects come into play, right? So I have the counter melody right here. Now for beginners, reverb is your best friend. Um, and fruit 
a delimiter? What am I saying? FL Studio does come with its own stock plugin of Reverb called the um, Fruity Reverb 2. And it's good. It's really easy to use. Uh, it looks like this. You pretty much just control the wet knob. That's all I do. Um, but a great free option for you guys. An amazing free option is called Valhalla Supermassive. It's by the Valhalla line um, plugins and it's free. So there's no harm in getting it. But what I like using is if you go to, if you press the presets, there is a setting in the late 2022 section called Libra Nebula. Um, it's just like a super stretched out smeary pad and I would never use it the full knob, but if you put it to like maybe 40%, Like, you can almost make it like a pad. And by doing this, if you put it with the same, if you um, play it at the same time as the main melody that I just created, it's like in the background, so it's not really getting in the way of the melody, but it still provides the extra texture, right? Because without the counter melody. It's a little dry, so now adding in the pad or the counter melody. It's the subtle things like this I feel like that really makes you stand out. Is Next week, I'm obviously not going to just show you guys or tell you guys to use a drum loop. We're going to go into the different patterns of drums, the very standard drum pattern and all of that stuff. But this was just to show you guys how it would turn out eventually. But yeah, uh, I know this stuff is really complicated in the beginning because there's no like step A, B, C that you can just follow and then end up with the result. Uh, it is a lot of, it is going to be a lot of trial and error. But that being said, I feel like I'm giving you guys guidelines so that you're not, you're not like completely lost. Uh, that's my goal for this video is like help you guys find a direction, right? Because music is in the end subjective. You're going to have to do your work to figure out what you like, but I feel like Hopefully this video gives you some help as to like finding what you like, right? How do you find what you like? Um, that's what I was trying to help you guys with. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So like I mentioned, um, next week we're going to be covering drums. So hopefully you guys are excited about that. Um, and then also new song coming out. So make sure to keep, out, keep an eye out for that as well. And that's pretty much it. So, peace.